So I'm pissed. We're going back and forth. We're arguing. He's very rude, very nasty. And I'm just telling him, like, dude, like, if you can't afford the car note, I'll come get it. Like, it's not a big deal. You know, like, you clearly can't afford it. No, you're not fucking getting the car back, blah, blah, blah. He was so nasty to me. Like, I swear, even at one point, he called me a bitch. Like, you guys i am back with another story time guys i've been doing this social media thing super heavy okay um i'm all over instagram all over snapchat me and my family are on snapchat a lot and i'm all over tiktok i'm all over twitter like it's an actual job like i'm getting money but like it's a lot of work okay but i want to make sure that i have a lot of good content out there a lot of different content out there so if you're following me on different platforms, you're not seeing the same thing like over and over and over again. But that said, uh, I was on IGTV and I spoke about a certain situation where my friends did me so wrong, so wrong, so wrong. And you know, I'm doing IGTV and I'm talking about like, you know, situations that happen with your friends. So I talked about this situation, not in full detail because it is just such, oh, it's bad energy. Like I don't even want to talk about it now but you know you guys was asking what happened i'm going to spill the tea i'm gonna give you guys the details okay um actually i had two situations that i spoke about one was about friends that borrowed money but it wasn't money it's this whole big big situation that i'm gonna actually talk about now and then there was another situation where my friends uh kissed my my mans um well, they messed around or whatever the hell happened and that is a whole nother situation but if you want to hear that story in full detail let me know in the comments below and i will get that out to you asap so without further ado let's get to it actually hold up did you do you like like you know remember if you go back to my other story times like i bangs with the green screen i love a bright color um and then you can focus just on me and like what what happening with me you know what i'm saying um so i'm happy i'm bringing my green screen back up in it what 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 okay okay without further ado let's go okay so this situation happened in 2016 so that's like what five years ago five years ago and it's still very annoying to talk about very painful because the situation continued on way past just like that one point in time so in 2016 me and trevor this is my husband now we got back together for the final time this was earlier on like around around february okay and we decided like listen we've been breaking up and getting back together breaking up and getting back together from 2007 to 2016 and we're dealing with each other again what are we doing let's either make this serious or just walk away from each other so this is our last shot at this love thing okay clearly it worked out we got married we have two kids we're living in a nice big old house it worked out so guys don't ever be scared to give your man an ultimatum because it's for the best of both people okay yeah so we decided like you know we're gonna try to make it work at this point in time obviously i was in new york city trevor was living in brooklyn i was living in harlem um and i decided let's take that next step and kind of like move in together without officially moving in together my lease was up in june so I decided like, you know what? Let me start living with you basically every day I'm at your house all the time. And then if it works out when my lease is up, I could just move in with you. Uh, we can get our own place or whatever the case may be. So that's what wound up happening. By the time June came, I was so comfortable at his place. It was like, we're just gonna do it. Let's let's get our own apartment together and let's move in together. Um, on top of it, I worked literally like 10 minutes away from where he lived. Like, like my job was walking distance um so it was just so convenient for me to basically move to brooklyn i know right i know a bronx girl that moved to harlem to move to brooklyn like what what am i doing like how could i leave the bronx like that but oh it wasn't my best interest so i wound up moving in with him and everything was good you know 
I had a car, he had a car. Brooklyn, in downtown Brooklyn, that's where we lived. Downtown Brooklyn is not the place for a mother freaking car, okay? Let me tell you that. There is no parking. It was so annoying trying to find parking for both our cars, having to switch because alternate side of the street parking where they clean the street. You have to move your car. If you don't move your car, you're getting tickets. I can't not tell you, like I probably spent like at least $10,000 in tickets like just living in Harlem alone um and getting all the tickets for like parking it's just so annoying so at that time I, I had a my car was a lease it was a 2015 I believe Acura ILX it was a beautiful freaking car leather interior my I had a beautiful sunroof like my car was it was amazing like that is my baby i could still smell it it was so fresh and so clean clean i mean i barely needed to get on the car because i was always like on the train but you know what i'm saying like that was my baby that was my car i was leasing it i worked really hard okay i know you know yeah probably if you're watching this from seeing me on the circle you know i always talk about like how i, I struggle and i did struggle but i also worked really hard so like but when i got my money it would go towards like the things that i needed or the things that i wanted because i worked so hard so i just felt like i deserved to travel i deserve a nice car i deserve to like live my best life and because of that i wasn't able to save up money so just so you can get an idea of like who I am background like yes I made decent money but it went to expensive ass New York City okay so I had this lease car and it was just beautiful but I realized you know I'm trying to start a life with Trevor we're moving in together we should be saving our money so we could buy property as opposed to just wasting it renting and paying for two car notes when we do everything together anyway so why am I going to be paying a car note when he has a car that's fully paid off but he pays car insurance and it's just like let's save money how can we save money all right at this point in time i had two friends um and we're going to name these friends gaka and <laughs> I was gonna say piss like I would really love to just like caca and piss um pee pee no pee pee caca and pee pee yeah let's do that caca and pee pee okay so caca is a guy and pee pee is a girl and seemingly they are dating okay so I've known caca and pee pee for a really long time I've known I've known them I'm, I can't I'm so I can't but I've known them since 2010 since I started my job um we became really good friends especially me and caca we became really good friends um and then me and pee pee seemingly down the line we became good friends and at some point they started dating okay they started dating they started liking each other and they started like getting serious really really fast um for me i was so happy like i i love love i love seeing my friends happy and i knew that gaka really 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 liked Pipi. he was like constantly chasing her always wanting to like take her out and she was always like deading him because i guess like his reputation or whatever like he's a player or, or i don't know he's just being the streets okay so he's he's for the streets so she was kind of like, you know, not really wanting to be with him. But eventually she gave in. They became a couple um, and they were so cute together. I loved, I loved watching them be a couple. I really did. I was very happy for them. And as a good friend, I always want to be there for my friends. So with dating, one thing led to another and eventually Pipi got pregnant by Gaka. Um, Once again, I was really, really happy. Uh, I thought like, this is great you know like pp already had a daughter kaka already had a daughter they're blending their families they've been friends for a really long time and everybody was just happy to see them together so i was like really excited for them you know went to their baby shower all of that stuff new york city is a very hard place to live in i'm telling you it's really expensive no matter how much money you make you know you have to be like extremely rich to like be very comfortable there um so kaka I feel like Gaka always had like a little bit of a struggle when it came to like finances um and definitely I guess his credit score wasn't the best so I heard through the grapevine summer 2016 around July ish Gaka was looking for a car because Pipi was pregnant and she was due I want to say she was due in August or September or something like that she was due very very soon and Gaka has been trying so hard to get a car because they didn't have a car and living in brooklyn brooklyn is one of the places like it's a little bit more i guess harder to get around than 
Manhattan and Harlem and the Bronx, possibly. I'm not sure, but I know a lot of people in Brooklyn always like want a car or they feel like they need a car. I didn't really feel like that in the Bronx or Harlem, so I don't know. But he felt like he needed a car to get from point A to point B, just something to get his family where they needed to go. And he didn't want to drag a newborn baby on the train, which I completely understand. Around this time was the same time that I was like, I need to get rid of my car. Okay, now keep in mind, I was in a lease. And this lease was, uh, it was a three year lease. I think I had two more years left on it. And um, I was just like, damn, like how do I get out of it? So Kaka informed me that there was a way that he can take over my car lease. And it was better for him because he didn't really necessarily have to show too much credit. And for me, because then he would take over my payments and I didn't have to worry about my car note or car insurance. It was like a win-win situation. So I was like, yes, let's do it. What do we gotta do to get this happening? ASAP, okay? So we wound up calling Acura, or I guess it's Nissan, whoever deals, I think it's Nissan, because Nissan owns Acura. So we wound up calling them, and we wound up setting up, you know, like all the paperwork, getting all of that shit done so that Kaka can take over my lease. In my head, I truly thought that Kaka was going to relieve me from my obligations on this lease he was going to be the one that was going to take care of all the payments he was fully liable it was going to impact his credit everything all of that was basically going to go on to him i was completely gone i didn't have to do anything as as soon as i signed the papers everything goes to kaka so that was my thoughts on it so we're basically finishing up the paperwork and everything we sent it all in and i find out at the end of it all after everything is said and done i have officially become a co-signer for kaka instead of me not being on the actual lease anymore like i thought i thought i was transferring the lease completely over to kaka what happened was is that maybe maybe they couldn't do it because of his credit or maybe they just don't do that but what happened was is that i became his co-signer and i was still responsible for the payment on the car note if he didn't pay so they would come after me they would impact my credit if the car note wasn't paid i'm thinking like at the end of it all like we signed all the paperwork he's so happy to get this car i'm so happy that i don't have to worry about the payments you know he needs a car for his family i need to save up money and on top of it all like we already went through the whole process he's really excited about getting the car and we've been friends for years so from 2010 to 2016 that's six years like i fully trusted him like he was one of my very very good friends i felt like i could depend on if i needed anything so for me it was just like you know what I'm just gonna continue going through with it because this is one of my really really good friends and his girlfriend his baby mama is also another one of my really good friends and I just can trust them you know what I'm saying like I know that they're going to do what they have to do because they're not gonna put me in jeopardy because I just did them this huge ass favor otherwise if I didn't do that they wouldn't have been able to get no mother freaking car okay I just went through with it all now after um we signed all the paperwork he was like dying to get the car like super early like i forgot why but like let's say i wanted to give him the car on like july 16th he was like oh but can i get it on like july 3rd like please you're not using it blah 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 and i'm just like dude like what's the rush like it's not a big deal and he's just like no come on let me get it blah 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 and i'm like fine like you know what whatever like you you can take it it's not a big deal i don't care like i paid this month but it's not a big deal take the car so he came he picked up the car keys i had it washed i had it fully detailed i had it fully clean i made sure that there was no scratches on it everything was like pristine in tip-top shape when i gave him the car now my license plates were on the car oh that's why that's what happened i wanted to make sure that he had his license plates before i gave him the car with my license plates on it because you know you can't drive a car without license plates right um and he was like no please like I, it's okay like i'll send your license plates back when i get mine i'm waiting for them blah 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 he told me he was waiting for his license plates he told me that he was going to mail mines back for me in two weeks time period okay that's what he told me so i felt comfortable giving him the car letting him do what he needed to do because apparently he needed it right gave him the car he was mad thankful mad happy mad hype of course right you just got a brand new car right and you didn't even have to put no money down like i put money down you didn't have to do none of that okay 
Okay, that month goes fine. July is fine. August is fine. Now we come into September. September comes and at this point, Trevor has a job in Toronto and we are like on go. In August, we moved from his apartment in Brooklyn to another apartment in Brooklyn, like literally down the street. One week after we moved into that apartment, we found out that he got accepted to a job in Toronto um, and we were just gonna leave. We were like, you know what? We're done with New York. Let's try living in Toronto. Let's see how this works for our relationship um, and let's just move on with life, right? So we were moving really, really fast. You know, I didn't really have so much time to check in with my friends like that because life was just like on freaking overdrive, you know? So August, because, okay. So because I was moving to Toronto with him, we decided to like really take our relationship to the next step. Trevor proposed to me. So this is when I got engaged to Trevor in 2016 in August. It was August 18th to be exact. And it, you know, it was very happy, but like I said, life was moving so fast. We needed to be in Toronto like a week later, which we did. We packed up everything. We went and we left and we went to Toronto. You know, so I didn't really have a time to like talk to all my friends and like really catch up and like just like I don't know take a second sit back and like look at life I didn't really have that that time so I get to Toronto and I'm looking at my credit and my credit score went down like I want to say like 20 points okay so I'm like what the physic like why is my credit score going down so I'm looking you know I look at credit karma I have an account with them and you can check your credit score 24 7 like you don't have to pay before you used to have to only check your score one time a year or pay addition for additional checks and um credit karma switched all that amen and I get to look at my credit score every month as many times as I want my credit score went down like 20 points I'm like what the fuck <laughs> so I look and I look into it and I see that my car note wasn't paid I never miss a car note payment ever it automatically took it out of my account same thing with all my bills like I work hard so I could play hard but I'm very responsible okay and I my credit score was like over 700 something so I'm like pissed okay and I'm looking obviously it's not me obviously Kaka did not pay his august bill so because he didn't pay it and it was i think at that point probably like 30 days late because that's when it hits your credit they give you like a whole month to pay it before it hits your credit he didn't pay it it hit my credit i don't know if it hit his credit i don't give a fuck if it hit his credit or not because it hit my fucking credit that's the problem i'm fuming i'm pissed i hit him up and i'm trying to be as nice as possible because i have a thing like i don't like to talk to my friends in a disrespectful way i'm there like dude you didn't pay the car no it affected my credit i really needs you to to do that and he's like yo my fault my bad he's like really apologetic about it and he said like he's gonna pay it um at this point i remember like yo you have my license plate did you ever send it back he tells me no he never sent my license plate back because he wanted to do insurance fraud and he wanted to use an address in maryland so that he could have cheaper car insurance than new york car insurance however he had to get to maryland to go to the dmv there and do all of that whatever he needed to do now he didn't have the time to do that and he never got the chance to do that but according to him he was gonna do that asap okay okay so i'm kind of pissed i'm trying to be nice and i'm holding it in i'm just like okay i really need you to take care of that asap you know at this point there's not much i could do i'm in a whole nother country i'm in canada you know it's not like i'm about to just go back to new york and be like dude give me the car keys blah 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 like you know what i mean like and at the end of the day like is he really gonna give it up you know i'm like let me trust him let me believe in him he's probably going through like a tough patch like let's let me just give him some time okay a couple of weeks later i get a phone call from my father and you know so when i moved to canada with trevor we wound up putting my dad's address as like our american address because our stuff is still there we kind of i guess in america we still live there and on top of it all um you know we still was getting mail but I, we couldn't forward our mail to canada um so my dad called me and my dad's like hey zalisa um i thought you got rid of your car and i'm like yeah i did i don't have it and he's like oh because you've gotten letters from the dmv and i'm like for what 
And he's like, I, I don't know, but the way the letters look, it looks like they're parking tickets or something. And I'm like, there's no way, like it's impossible. I'm like, dad, can you open it for me? He opens the letters for me. And I have, I wanna say, at least two parking tickets, me. I have tickets on my car that I don't have anymore. For a time period that I didn't have the car, I have tickets under my name, okay? So now I'm even more mad, okay? Now I call him and I'm getting mad because I'm pissed. Like, not only are you messing up my credit, you're giving me parking tickets. My license is still, I still have my New York City license. Like they can still revoke my license. They can give me points on my license. They can arrest me for not paying tickets. You know, like I was pissed. I have one parking ticket from August, one parking ticket from September. Why am I getting parking tickets? You were supposed to take care of the license plates. You didn't do that. So like I said, I try to really watch how I talk to my friends, but then there comes a time where I can't do it anymore. I can't be fucking nice anymore. I'm a fucking bitch when I need to be, or when I have to be. And at this point, I couldn't hold it together and I started, I started getting a little bit rude, okay? I started being like, yo, I need you to take care of this. What the fuck is the problem? If you cannot handle my car notes, if you cannot change out the license plates, I need you to give me the car keys. I will come to New York, pick it up, and I will take care of it, take it off your hands because you're messing up my life. Like, this is not just like me owing somebody money. Like, this is my credit score. You need a, a dope credit score to buy property to get a loan to get a credit card anything you know how important a credit score is on top of it you're messing with my license like I wanted to drive uber in Canada and I needed to switch my license over are they gonna give me a problem now so it's like all these things I'm like so fucking mad and then it's like I'm not even in New York to like really do nothing because I feel like you wouldn't have done this shit if I was in New York but he probably would have because Kaka is a Kaka head and I feel like he just doesn't care about anybody else but himself so we start go going back and forth we're kind of arguing and like I'm just like so mad I'm just like so mad and like he's real disrespectful like he's one of those dudes that like he'll call you a bitch if he, he doesn't care like he's one of those dudes that would fight a female like you know and like at this point I didn't even look at him as a friend anymore because I'm like nobody is gonna do that to their friend you know what I'm saying like after I looked out for you after I helped you and like you're doing this and then getting rude he was getting rude with me like I'm like it's my fault and like I'm like nah I shouldn't be mad and then on top of it his girl BB is like texting me and still trying to be like nice about stuff like hey how you doing oh um can Trevor be the godfather of my kid uh all of this random stuff and I'm just like miss do you not know what your man is doing your man is ruining my fucking life okay like I cannot be cool with you and you know and you're sitting in my fucking car and your man is not paying the car note and he's getting tickets under my name and you know that that's wrong you know he shouldn't be doing that you know like maybe she didn't know the details the full-on details but at some point I did wind up telling her and I'm just like yo your man is disrespectful I can't get with it I don't like it and if he can't afford the car note he needs to give me the car keys back because I'm just like you're not gonna sit here and smile on my face and be my friend and not help me out with this situation like on the other end I would never let Trevor talk to any one of my female friends or even any one of his female friends in that way like Trevor would never do that because he has just like the utmost respect in general for people and especially women but I would never allow I would curse them out before he would like I would have to be like babe no like you cannot talk to a female like this let me do it like bitch what the f you know what I'm saying like no so I was very uh disappointed in her I lost a lot of respect for BB in that moment and I basically obviously lost so much respect for Kaka and at that point it was in my head like we're not friends anymore because you don't do this to friends you don't constantly lie to them you know he told he's like yeah I'm gonna pay the tickets okay no problem but yeah I'm gonna pay the car no it's not gonna happen again guess what happened the next month again he was late and again it impacted my credit my school credit score dropped 40 points it dropped 40 points because of him because he wasn't paying the car note okay 40 freaking point okay you know how how hard it is to build up your credit like i just i can't i cannot so i was fuming on top of that he still was accumulating parking tickets not only parking tickets he was accumulating um you know the tickets because you have to have your car inspected he couldn't have his car inspected because it was still under my name he didn't change the license plates over um and it was something else that he was getting a ticket over and i'm kid you not at one point i had like five six tickets 
in the system you know you can go online and check the tickets on your license plate and i had so many tickets and i was pissed because like then they're late you know and now they're affecting me so i'm pissed we're going back and forth we're arguing he's very rude very nasty and i'm just telling him like dude like if you can't afford the car note i'll come get it like it's not a big deal you know like you clearly can't afford it no you're not fucking getting the car back blah 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 he was so nasty to me like i swear even at one point he called me a bitch like oh i was so over it and like i'm telling you at this point i was just like dude like we're never ever gonna be friends again and like that's unfortunate because i personally feel like i looked out for you you know like it didn't have to go down like that you didn't have to be rude to me like that and you just had to give me the fucking car back like i wasn't even sitting here like mad like if you would have just been like yo i I'm sorry, I can't really afford it. You're right, take the car back. Let me take care of all of this when I get the chance. But here, here you go, here's the car back. I would have been like, okay, cool. You know, I wouldn't have had so much hatred towards him. You know, like, and, and then he was disrespectful to me. Like, like I was the one that was wrong. No. Anyway, this, this, this situation just like, it goes even longer than this. But um, this is the main portion of the fact that my friends fucked me over you know we we lost out on a really good friendship we had a lot of fun together we went on trips together um i really enjoyed my time spent with them but uh there just comes a point in time where you have to realize you know like some people just aren't your friends they won't look out for you the way you look out for them and that's okay you grow up and you grow apart and that's that um however the situation with these friends 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 um i had to get law enforcement involved i had to go back to new york and it just was madness so there's a part two to this video coming out um and a part three because even after all of this situation ended they still was essentially bullying me and um i'm going to have a whole nother video so part two is coming up so part two is coming up very very soon and then part three so you can find out really the extent of how messed up these people were to me i hope that the camera didn't cut off all of that stuff but my camera died so now i'm using my cell phone to finish up this video um but that is the end of part one and how essentially you know i basically lost my friends over a car um or borrowed I, I don't know how to explain it but um yeah it's just it's a very unfortunate event i'm very sad about it still i was very hurt about it um everything that was happening and transpiring especially me being in a whole nother country it's like damn i can't even like i can't even fix it um but yeah so that's the story uh i uh, drop your comments below and let me know has anybody ever done anything crazy like that to you mess up your credit got tickets under your name and then got mad at you and was talking to you like you was the one that was wrong like what um another thing my tupac shirt guys y'all know i love tupac if you watched me on the circle netflix season two i definitely had this whole tupac outfit with the bandana and everything going on i have now gotten this shirt i love my tupac shirts like you don't even understand but if you want this shirt this exact exact shirt which is so nice and lightweight and stretchy and so comfortable um it is available on beuniqueshop.com go check it out and there is a discount i have everything on there my entire style you can shop my style at beuniqueshop.com and follow me on all my social medias lisa unique everything <laughs> thank you so much for watching keep it geek freak chic and sleek but most importantly keep it unique see you guys in my next video